Although the sound of Nevada atom bomb testing still resounds in their ears, Americans today look forward hopefully toward peaceful uses of the atom. Nationwide research and applications point toward tremendous improvements in the health and safety of all mankind in this new age of atomic energy. For example, will the fish in our rivers be contaminated by radioactive waste from the atomic power plants? By breeding salmon from the Columbia River in special radioactive water, the Atomic Energy Commission is conducting basic research on effects of nuclear radiation on living things. Here at its Hanford Works in Washington State, these studies help safeguard America's important fishing industry, provide science with data on radiation effects on fish, and aid engineers and scientists who design future atomic plants. Fish bred in wastewater from atomic reactors are ashed in a furnace and given a radiation count. Results? Data proving that the nationwide atomic energy industry is carefully safeguarding purity of American rivers and the fish life important to our economy. Effects of radiation on sheep are also being studied at Hanford, part of the AEC's $25 million a year biomedical research program to protect the animals we breed, the meat on our dinner tables. Because the radioactive food eaten by the sheep gives off bursts of radiant energy, its course through the system can be traced by a radiation counter. Atom tracers go to work for mankind. Someday, atomic energy will power our factories and homes, drive ships and planes. Therefore, the health, safety, and protection of atomic energy workers and of the public is vital. Radioactive dust resulting from atomic energy work is studied at the University of California at Los Angeles. Here, rats live in a special rotating chamber into which radioactive dust is injected. Data valuable to civil defense is obtained from radiation counts of animal tissue. Who benefits? You and the families and workers of tomorrow. Today, 700,000 Americans are under treatment for cancer. Radioisotopes are going to work in cancer research. A radioactive atomic cocktail is taken by a patient at AEC's University of California laboratory. Radioisotopes have been called the greatest research tool since the invention of the microscope. AEC alone spends more than $2 million a year to fight one of the world's top killers. Here, an amazing radiation counter actually draws a picture of the cancerous area and aids doctors in diagnosing the disease so that safe treatment, either by atomic energy or routine surgery, can fight the dread ailment. At the Oak Ridge Cancer Research Hospital in Tennessee, radioactive tracer materials are injected directly into the bloodstream of a cancer patient. He will undergo an operation for the removal of a specimen of cancerous chest tissue to determine how diagnosis and treatment are progressing. But cancer isn't the only disease under atomic investigation. Blood, heart, thyroid, and many other diseases are slowly giving up some of their secrets with the help of a nationwide atomic energy research program. Now, Paramount News gives you exclusive up-to-the-minute views of cancer treatment with atomic energy at New York's Montefiore Hospital, where the cobalt bomb, a powerful new tool in the fight against the disease, is in operation. The cobalt teletherapy unit silently bombards deep-seated tumors with a stream of invisible rays. Billions of particles of energy similar to X-rays, but much stronger. Tumors shrink and cancer cells are destroyed, as this $50,000 machine gives off more radiation than all the medical radium in the world, which would be worth $50 million. Housed in two tons of protective lead, the cobalt bomb directs a sharp beam of atomic radiation at the cancer. No cure-all, final results will take years to evaluate, but a big step forward in cancer treatment. Yes, by splitting the atom, science has found a powerful new force to study and fight disease and make a happier, healthier tomorrow.